Hey guys, Luca here, welcome back to another PvE build, this time with my Stamina Warden. And again, I used the 2H dual setup just because I love it to spam Wrecking Blow. If you prefer a double dual setup, check out my old video for the Flames of Ambition patch. I've tested it too for this patch, the DPS numbers are exactly the same like in the previous patch. Link will be in the description below. Before the video starts, quick reminder, I know it's annoying guys, blah blah blah, but I have to say it my friends, sub my channel, leave a like and a comment below, I would really appreciate it. But now, let's start with the pass and the rotation first. Here we go with the rotation, summon the wild guardian pet, the bull netch, then sub with deadly cloak, step closer to the target, use barb trap, Rending slashes, consuming trap, swap to front bar, activate your ultimate into stampede, recast sub again with infection, then spam wrecking blow until the backward dots expire. Recast sub training every sixth skill, as you can see in the video. Try not to bar swap with channel abilities like wrecking blow and stampede, if possible use sub infection or the ultimate bar swap. It's not always possible, quite often you have to swap a wrecking blow, but you will get used to it after a couple of tries. Keep this rotation up until 31%, then you drop wrecking blow, running slashes, infection and consuming trap, use only executioner, barb trap, daddy cloak, still sub every 6 skill and the ultimate. If you have sustain issues, you can keep up consuming trap. Now enjoy the pass. bad, I managed to get 107k after 2 hours of parsing, pretty unlucky with crit to be honest, which means 2 to 4k more DPS should be in with this build. Look at the enorm damage of sub training guys, that's why I use Biting Aura on Warden. Executioner 78%, over 7% under crit, that's sad. 
On the other hand, 96% crushing swipe, that's juicy. And now look at this almost 6k dot damage with Stampede and over 2k damage with the initial hit. Oof. So 8k DPS in total with Stampede. Oh boy. Nice buff Zos. Reliquen, only 6.3k. Why? Well, it's simple since offensive proc hits like Reliquen are based on weapon and spell damage now. We need at least over 6.5k weapon damage to gain the original value from the life patch. Our max weapon damage is at 5.8k. We could go higher with a great sword and a berserker glyph, but the 1 to 2k more DPS on the Reliquin are not worth it. We would lose too much DPS on all the other abilities. Wrecking Blow, well, not bad. Daddy Cloak. Since they buff the damage, pretty good DPS. Flame damage enchant with burning deals over 3k DPS. And frost enchantment 2k, the poison one 3.5k. And then yeah, the rest. Good, good, stamina warden. Good, good. Let's continue with the build showcase. Like on every stamina class so far, 5 reliquen on the body. One slime craw, one harpoon or swading kill, the new mythic item. On the jewelry, advancing Yokida, full bloodthirsty, with a 2HX imprecise, with a flame damage enchant, which is a tiny bit better than the double dot poisons. We don't use it on the back bar just because we gain 10% extra frost damage as a warden. That's why we use a frost damage enchant here and a poison glyph. Let's take a look on the skills, Executioner, our 2-H Execute, Subtraining Assault, our special ability, which deals most of the time the most damage, Wrecking Blow, our spammable, Growing Swarm, I just called it Infection, Stampede, which is now a powerful dot since they buffed it, and you need Wild Guardian on both bars, which deals also a ton of damage. On the back bar, Running Slashes, Daddy Cloak, Barb Trap, Consuming Trap, and the Boomage for Sustain. Race, like almost always, Dunma, Kashi the similar DPS wise, Orc slightly weaker. As Mundustone, the Thief Mundus, with the Lava Food Soup. In Raids, you can mostly play the Green Max Stamina Food, which gives more stamina. Potions, like always, with Stamina, Major Savagery and Major Brutality. CPs, Backstabber, Fighting Finesse, Biting Aura and Deadly Aim. Rejuvenation, Boundless Vitality, Slippery and Ironclad. If you can't flank the enemy with Backstabber, you can use Tarmoturge instead. That's the end of the video, only two stamina classes left, Stumblade and Stampler. Don't know which class I'll pass next, after those two I will pass with every Magicka class except of Magpla. I never played it before and I hate jabs. Check out my other PvE videos for the Blackwood chapter. I did Stamcrow, Stamina Sorcerer and Stamina Dragon Knight so far. Links will be in the description below. 9 days left until Blackwood will get released on the live server, so stay tuned for more PvE builds, be prepared for the Deadlands. Thanks for watching, stay healthy, have a nice day and see you in the next video. Ciao!